Hello everyone, my name is Idiotic Synergy, and today we're going to look at the All Plastic Legion Tactical Squad. Basically, more Beaky Boys have been announced, and they look pretty smart. So, this was the trailer, and I think because we saw Imperial Fists versus Sons of Horus, I've got a feeling they're coming in the new box set at some point, which is fantastic if there is a giant box set. I'm looking forward to the giant box set. I also hope they bring back the Betrayal of Kalf box set for the Horus Heresy, because that was really good. I Apparently you got like a bunch of Cataphracty Terminators, and I love Cataphracty Terminators. Saying it though is a pain in my ass, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is looking at the Mark VI armor, and ah, I'm really happy with these guys. Also, it's important to note that in this paragraph here, it says it, this is an incredibly versatile kit with plenty op of options for posing and gear. This is a Legion tactical squad, so it's old style bolters and bayonets for everyone. Though the sergeant gets a plasma pistol and a choice of power sword, power fist, or lightning claw. And lots of options in kits is fantastic. I, I'm so happy they're plastic, because if these were resin, uh, I hate resin. Resin is awful, and uh, is just annoying to work with, especially in summer. But this isn't resin, this is good old fashioned plastic. And look at these! Look at them! The banner guy there just showing off his banner with an old style bayonet. I, I like the old bayonet. I want to talk about the sergeant because I think he's the most standout ish. Uh, I think he stands out more than standout ish. Well done. I've made up a word. Well done, me. But. This sergeant here looks fantastic. He looks amazing. I like the old, I like the helm he's got. I like the power sword. I also like the pre-heresy uh, plasma pistol. That that all fits. That all fits amazingly well. I, I'm really happy with how he looks. I think they all look fantastic. Don't get me wrong. I mean... The paint scheme does an amazing job, but also the actual sculpt itself looks really good, and with it having lots of different ways of posing the model and everything, it's it's going to be really fun to use the, those bits for kit bashing Primaris things, or like other firstborn marines, or even doing your own Havoc or Devastator squads. Ooh, I've got an idea. Uh, use old style marines for devastator squads. Equip all of them with lascan. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh! I've got an idea now. Sorry, I've I've got ideas and things. But yeah, the sergeant looks really cool. I also like the scrolls he's got. And there's a guy with a vox with the servo skull just chilling there, and it looks really good. Again, I can't say much about this other than it looks fan fucking tastic. And the banner guy, he's he's just chilling, showing off his banner. What's what's more? What more do you want? It, it's a simple squad, but it looks really good. Also, 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 here's a closer look at how they all look. And yeah, look, they look like they've been uh, battle damaged. So like. Bullets have hit them. They all look battle damaged and worn down with wear, and that is why I like the Horus Heresy because it's not shiny Space Marines, it's old, depressed, gritty Space Marines that will punch another Space Marine in the face. And I, I like the old Horus Heresy Space Marines, I really do. The whole uh grittiness of it make it gives them so much character rather than the clean Primaris ones where they look where they look cool don't get me wrong I like Primaris but they not they don't look battle worn or they do, they have a lack of character these guys don't and you can do so much with these a kill team oh a pre heresy kill team would look fantastic anyway Sorry, I get distracted. My apologies. I've, I've got so many ideas for kit bashing. So, 
also, here is the other options. And this is the chainsaw bayonet I was mentioning, and it looks pretty nice. I like the chainsaw bayonet. I don't know whether or not I prefer it over the regular bayonet because of the... I think the regular bayonet on the bolter is iconic because it reminds people of Rogue Trader days where Space Marines used to have a bayonet on the end of the bolter. And also I think that's an old model you can get, it's in Legends. But it's, a, it's like an old Rogue Trader model that you can use in-game as a separate unit. I forgot, maybe it's just called Rogue Trader Space Marine. I can't remember the unit, my apologies. But it looks really cool. And also, I just have to say that this Night Lord character here, my favorite character. Yes, I'm biased. Yes, I like Night Lords the most. But look at the Lightning Claw. It looks so cool. The Lightning Claw is my favorite. I will happily equip every single sergeant I find in this box set with lightning claws and that's it. I like lightning claws a lot and they look really cool! I, yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy with how this kit looks. Also, important note if you... Uh, basically, they'll be revealing a new plastic model from the new edition each week on Thursday. So, if you want to hear me basically ramble about how good the Horus Heresy kits and models and characters are going to be, or maybe they release a character that's not so good, please subscribe because I will talk more about Warhammer and reveals and, uh, and, reveals and stuff. Granted, Kirioff and Valrak and many other channels do a better job, but you know what? Who cares? I'm me. I'm, I'm new to this. I'm cool, said no one ever. Anyway, I've been Idiotic Synergy. Please like and subscribe. I've got a Ko-fi where you can donate, but if not, then that's cool. And see you later. I haven't got an intro yet. I will work on an, in an not an intro, an outro yet. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. See you later. <laughs>